Hello everyone. Today we want to solve the integral of cosine to the fourth power of x dx. And I know this is a tough integral, so let's take a deep breath and I know we're going to be fine. First, we want to start by rewriting cosine to the fourth power of x as cosine to the second power of x squared. And we, because it's the square power, we want to use the power reduction formula, which is right below here and replace it with cosine to the second power of x. Now we distribute this square. Notice how it's multiplying, so we're allowed to distribute the square. But if we are adding, we're not allowed to do that. So we distribute that square and we have one over four, and then we have this squared. So now we wanna take the integral of this. How we're gonna be doing it is, we're gonna be foiling one plus cosine So one times one is one. One times cosine parentheses two x is positive cosine two x. Cosine two x times one is positive cosine two x. And cosine two x times cosine two x is cosine is a positive cosine squared 2x. Now we combine like terms. We have 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x, which is what we have here. And now we want to take the integral, but there's just a tiny little problem we have to fix. The cosine squared, we have to use the power reduction formula again. And let us be very careful because in the cosine squared theta, the generic form is half one plus cosine parentheses two theta. So our input here is two x. Multiply by that two x, we're gonna have a four x. So we do that. So we have one plus two cosine parentheses two x, so this portion just drops down. And then we have a half one plus cosine two times the input here which is 2x, and then we have a 4x. So now we want to distribute this half into these terms. So we have a 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus half plus half cosine 4x. Now we're ready to take the integral. But before we take the integral, we want to combine like terms. We see a half and a 1, and that's going to give us 3 over 2 which we have right here. And now we're set to take the integral. The integral of three over two in the x world is three over two x. The integral of cosine parentheses two x is positive sine parentheses two x. But with the reverse chain rule, we have to divide by two, and that two cancels out with this two, and we have a positive one sine parentheses two x. And the integral for cosine parentheses 4x is positive sine parentheses 4x, but using the reverse chain rule, we divide by 4. So half divided by 4, that's how we get the 1 over 8. And then we distribute this constant into all the terms. So we have a 1 over 4 times 3 over 2x, which is 3 over 8. And then we have a 1 over 4 times sine parentheses 2x, which is a 1 fourth sine parenthesis 2x, and then 1 over 4 times 1 over 8 is 1 over 32, sine parenthesis 4x plus c. And that is our final answer. Like I told you, I knew it was a hard integral, but we're done. Thank you.